Thanks for staying with us. It's time for a book chat. And with us, we have Mumtaz Paramole. He's a writer from Lagos State, Nigeria. He's also a graduate of the Department of Microbiology. His book, Heartquake, is uh, quite a collection of poetry and uh, beautiful poetry in them. You're welcome to the show. Um, thank you very much. Okay. Now, first off, Heartquake, Reflections of Love and Loss. Now talk to us. What inspired uh, this book? I mean, did you experience so much heartquake <laughs> that you well, well, <laughs> put together you, this beautiful collections of poems? Well, um, yes. And I, I think it started um, re re reflecting on the loss of my mom. Okay. Yes. Um, many people, when they see earthquake, they are expecting that um, it's just heartbreak. Probably somebody, I I, well, heart. no breakfast. Right. Um, but it was, it resulted from the loss of my mom. I lost her when I was seven. And I just found joy in expressing myself through writing. When I write, there's this sort of relief that I feel from writing. Okay. So, and people started saying, ah, Mumtaz, you are a good poet. I said, but I'm a science student. I said, I'm a good poet. So, well. And I just decided to chase it, and about six years down the line, heart quick. Mm, interesting. A science student who loves to write, that's quite an interesting one. So this is more of an, like, more of an anthropology. Yes. Um, and um, so there are a few um, poems, yeah, anthology, sorry, um, of um, poems, basically. And then this, this particular one, Illusion, sort of got my attention. I yeah. actually love it. And I'll just read it. And what is a smile? And what is my, my smile? smile? Other, Other than, than an Raj, mm -hmm. a symbol of deception. We see that there are a lot of people who, you know, hide, you know, behind the smile, hide their sorrows, their scars, and, you know, their trauma. Behind, behind the, the smile, smile. yes. And uh, subconsciously fixed against all the sorrow, the spondent feelings the heart truly feels. Talk to us, what particularly, you know, inspired this, this particular poem? Um, well, I, during my undergraduate days, I think probably when I was in 400 level, um, there was this day because I participated in politics a lot in school. So that day I was coming to school, I was very, very sad. Something had happened, something very personal. And I still had to smile. I still had to smile. I still had to look good. We still had to keep the Honorable Paramole vibe there. So when I got to the office, I just sat down and the smile was fading. And then the poem just came, you know, like every time we want to keep smiling, we want people to feel like we are OK, because we do not just want to rub our um, emotions on them. So and then I just felt like I could not be wearing that smile much longer. So did you get over it? Yes, I did. Right. <laughs> okay, and uh, let us love today. Let us love today. Okay, I particularly love this one because, I mean, this is very, very, very apt for the season. We're in a season of love, giving and sharing. And uh, I'm just going to read it out loud so that our viewers can, you know, hear it. Um, I've been around enough to know we may not always be here for each other. That's a very touching one. Not always be here to express how much we are in love. Not always be here to show how much we care. And you care. You're going to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I may not always be around to endow you with beautiful words, to create endless memories, to make you laugh until you're out of breath. Hmm. You were such a lover boy, Montaz, aren't you? Well, there's no denying that. Okay. There's no denying so, that. So, yeah. so it's, I need care. Hmm. <laughs> I care. Well, um, I care is like the poem says, um, my lover or a representation of my lover. Mm. I I believe that um, many at times we. We, we do not appreciate the love that we have, not just the love that we get from um, the relationships that we have, like boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, and wife, mm. even the love that we have for our friends, the relationship that we have with our family. So I wrote that poem um, in order to remind people 
that enough about the future or um, thinking about the past. Let us love today. Mm. Let us love today as though we are not going to love tomorrow. Mm. Let us love today as though we are going to be heartbroken tomorrow. Mm. So, and Ike is an embodiment of that poem for me. Mm. You know, that is a bit, other than the fact that it is um, a representation of love, I feel like that's a very strong message in there, especially in this season where we all, we are think, uh, you know, we're thinking about each, we're thinking about just ourselves. But it's also a reminder that you also need to, you know, share just a bit of that love with someone next to you. Anybody can be an Aike, you know, you're, you're, yes, anyone can be an Aike. Um, uh, my producer can be my Aike. My um, neighbor can be my Aike. So let's be our Aike, right? <laughs> yes, Spread definitely. That, that love to, you know, whoever is Aike. Interesting story. Now, amongst, uh, you know, with all of this, you know, with, um, which is your favorite poem? Which of those poems, you know, you know, like resonates with you the most? I'm laughing. I'm laughing. Okay, so what, 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 page, of, what page is that in? On. Can I read it? Yes, yeah, sure. Please go ahead. The poem says, I'm laughing. Okay. It's on page 46. Page 46. Interesting. What is it about the poem that gets you? <laughs> when I read it, you don't understand. Okay. okay. So it says, I'm laughing. I'm laughing so hard. Really hard. My eardrums could just explode. I'm laughing, but my mouth doesn't pave way for the white glitter that is my teeth. Mm. I'm laughing, I can feel it, but I'm so broken, I can't do it. That is it. Now, the I'm laughing is my favorite poem because at the time I wrote this poem, I wrote it um, at a time when I was going through breakfast. Let me put it that way. Okay. I had just been served hot. And I wanted to maintain the status quo. I wanted to keep smiling. I wanted everybody to just feel that I was happy. But it wasn't happening. In my head, I was laughing. In my head, I am playful. But owing to the fact that my heart was not synchronizing with my head at the time, mm. the heart was broken, so I was laughing, but I was too broken to do it. Oh, very touching one there. I think, I mean, I, 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 your book is a must-have. I think everyone should have it. Because the truth is, we all experience love. And um, it's also a reminder that we can be, you know, a representation, an embodiment of love. Right. We shouldn't just talk about it, but we should express it. We should be it. And, you know, um, reading it, it just sort of, you know, brings that, you know, um, it's just such a subtle sort of reminder, you know, of, you know, how we can beat and how we can share Definitely. love as well and how we can spread it. Thank you so much Thank for this um, much. anthology, Heartquake, Reflections of Love and Loss. Well done. Thank and, you very uh, much. Well, with, um, after pouring out your hearts, you know, in this book, do you have any, any other book coming up? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, and the title of my next book is A Reckless Dance. A reckless? A, rec a reckless dance. Dance, okay. A, a okay. reckless dance. And um, on that note, I would just like to take you to the kitchen. Um, mm -hmm. Chef Mo has been really hard at work. So maybe you'd also sing him a poem, <laughs> right? Shall we? Shall we, shall okay. we, shall. Let's go.